We have only bits and pieces of information, but what we know for certain is that at some point in the early 21st century, all of mankind was united in celebration. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of most infinite jo Oh, hey, Dave here. I've just been sitting here contemplating the uprising of artificial intelligence, and it brings to all those questions to mind of what really is creativity? Are the machines going to replace human artists and all that existential dread? But it's, instead of kind of getting all existentially dready, I figure, hey, why not do the thing humans are designed to do and create something? So that is why I downloaded and 3D printed this model here, which is a cyborg um, doing the whole um, allows per Yorick pose. And I figured this would be a great starting point for a uh, photo exploring the dawn of AI. Uh, so I don't know what the photo is going to look like um, when it's completed, but I figured I'd start by painting her up and getting a camera ready. And then along the way, maybe I'll do some more contemplating on the whole artificial intelligence thing and how it's going to affect us and see if I can get any answers to those questions. However, I think there's one question that will never be answered. And that is this. Why does the Android have a belly button? To the paint. All right, one Android figure painted and done and ready to go. This is gonna look fantastic in front of my camera. I put a lot of details into the paint job, the uh, different colors of all the various pipes and stuff from my experience working in data centers. I know how important it is to be able to track all the stuff, usually via color. So I put that detail in here. The Android itself, I wasn't sure what color to make her, but then I ended up just priming her in a gray to, uh, put a layer on to start painting it and I ended up just liking the gray. So I just left it as primer. So this is just pure primer for the uh, color of her uh, model uh, 
body parts there. Um, so I think this is looking great. Um, it definitely doesn't look like what AI actually looks like in my other existence when I'm not making YouTube videos. I've actually had the pleasure of seeing how Google makes their AI equipment and I have to sign an NDA so I can't tell you what it looks like, but it doesn't look anything like this. But metaphorically, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, we have the Android here obviously doing the um, uh, alas per York pose, which is fantastic. Um, but there's also these details here of all these brains. So the idea I think is that this Android is being trained by human uh, knowledge, which is exactly how modern AI works is it gets trained on humans and um, becomes this big statistical engine that ends up generating all the cool things that we think it's generating. And it's really just matching um, statistical outputs. Uh, but conceptually, that's exactly what it is, is human, human form becoming digitized um, and human knowledge becoming digitized. So I think that's pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do with her, I am going to stick her in front of my camera and light her up interestingly. Um, somehow, I'm, how exactly I'm gonna do that, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give that a bit of thought and play around with lights and just see how she looks under the lights and on with the camera lens. Uh, but the other thing I'm going to need is some sort of background, something back here. And I don't know what that's gonna be, but I think an, an homage to the um, mixing of the human and the artificial intelligence. I think I'm going to try to generate that background in like mid journey um, and see what I can come up with. That way we will have a meld of brains and computer and the whole thing. I think it'll be metaphorically artistic. Yay. Uh, so I'm going to jump into that and start trying to generate some backgrounds and then throw this model in front of my camera and go from there. So I think my experience with Midjourney went pretty okay. I generated several images actually, not just the one in the uh, reenactment, but uh, many uh, backgrounds that were possible candidates. So my thoughts on AI having done this is that it's interesting, it's kind of cool that you can just type in something and it gives you an image, but it has a very, very exacting artistic sense. And if it doesn't match exactly what you want, it's very hard to get what you want. If you have a general concept of an idea of, I want a robot factory, it will give you a robot factory. But if you want very specific details of look or mood or anything like that, it's very difficult to get actually what you want out of it. Um, so it's cool, it's a tool. I'm gonna definitely be using it and trying to uh, incorporate it more into my workflow because I think it is a handy tool, but will it replace artists? No chance in hell. Not a chance will it replace artists, not good artists. Everything that I generated required me to Photoshop before I could use it for this image. And if you see the final image uh, that uh, is coming soon, I've used up very little of that background actually. So there's probably not a lot of actual background in there. So it's certainly not gonna replace me in Photoshop. It's just nearly not flexible enough for that. So next step is to uh, shoot uh, this lovely Android lady. So I'm going to take her over to my studio and then put her on some lights, get some shots, throw it into Photoshop, and finish this image off.
So there's the final image, and I think it turned out pretty good. When I was going into this, I wasn't sure how much of the Android in the stand I was going to get into the shot, uh, just because I haven't mapped out the whole composition in my head yet. And it turns out I only used mostly the Android and the stand kind of fell in the background. But the important part was the um, Android and the skull uh, part, which I think came out really well. It was a bit tricky to light her because it's a solid white object, basically. But I think I managed okay. Uh, so if you want to pick up this Android, uh, he, uh, she came from Loot Studios, hashtag not a sponsor. It's one of their uh, six-month rewards for being like a six-month member. I think it's a six-month member membership uh, on their uh, futuristic line. I forget, I forget the exact name of it. It's not, the, it's not the, uh, the fantasy line. It's the other line that they have. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. Uh, if you want her, I'm sure you can find other Androids, other parts of the world, if you want to create a similar image. Uh, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.